Hi, it's Ben and Crystal. We have a litter out here that so funny that both of us missed the litter. When I say missed the litter, they were part of the 16. They are not in the count though. This is Lotus's litter and I just didn't even grab Lotus's home. These babies were born on March 8th, so right at the same time frame, but when I carried all of those last litters out to our habitat table, this one just didn't get carried out and didn't get filmed. So we've got one boy, this is my little boy right here, and he's just as gentle as can be. And the nice thing is he they just had a bath, they were quite dirty. And so they've been fighting to be at the bottom of the hog pile, but look at how he just loves to have his head pet and everything. So he's very sweet, he's very open, um, he's become very social. He's a little bit more tame already than his sisters. He's become a little bit more trusting than his sisters. But this is a little boy. I don't even need to mark him. I'm just gonna be, he's just gonna be on line as blonde boy because um, he's the only boy, so, and he's the only blonde. You know, and I'm seeing that you look really dark here, so why don't you switch over to this side and see if you've got a little bit more of a light angle here. Okay. No, you added some flash. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little light built on. Okay, so I'm doing it on our kitchen table today because my house is a little bit warm since I'm not running my heat at full um, status since my adoption room is not really being used right now. Hi, little sweet boy. So we're going to call him Blonde Boy. <laughs> that will be his picture because look at how easy he just sits there. He's pretty calm. He's, He's like, chill. look at the light. I love it. Like a sun bath. <laughs> Okay, all right, we'll let you kind of zoom the table a little bit. I'll start with the sister that's a little bit bigger. There's um, two, if I show color-wise, they're pretty close. This one's a little runt of the group, so she's been a little bit smaller. And then her sister, who is a little bit more traditional, just has like one little white grouping right here. But maybe we'll start with runt. Oh yes, look into the light runt. If I hold her up, can we get her? If I hold her up. Hi. You're cute. How you doing? She enjoyed her bath. That was nice. So a normal hedgehog ball, people a lot of times go, oh, that's so cute. To me, that's just a sign that I'm a little bit nervous. If I want a hedgehog to respond better to me, I'm gonna go face down and let him smell me. And so when she's up bright into her ball and she's got a bright light shining on, that's an expected reaction actually. But I'll go face down. She's letting me start to pet her forehead. Still a little nervous with it, but that's okay. I'll sit you over here with your brother. Color her real quick. Oh, yeah, let's put a mark on her. Magenta. We'll put a little runt magenta. We'll put a little spot over here on her magenta. But she's smaller than her sister. Her quills are kind of wet, so I don't know if that spot will stay or not. Yeah, right. She's a pinto. Her sisters are traditional, so we really have three separate looks with these, which are kind of nice, too. Yeah, she got some pinto. A little bit there. of pinto spots, doesn't she? Well, and her sister's cute. They got dark faces. The two girls got dark faces. I think it's so interesting that I can put a traditional male with a traditional female, and then you get a blonde out of it. <laughs> it's like, where did the DNA come from on that one? Hi. That'll be her picture, because oh, that's she's cute. cute. Yeah. yeah. And now Ben has a camera light turned on right now, and it's bright, and she's still looking right at it, so that... She's kind of a fearless little thing here. Hi. Hi. You go explore. Hmm? All right, we'll mark that one too or no? Yeah, we'll do a little purple dot on her. And pull the top off that hair. You can use two hands. Now she's pretty, this one's like, I'm gonna walk over here. This one's being pretty smart. She's like looking over the edge, but she's uh, cautiously aware of that edge. Yeah, they know they're- uh, Some do. They know the heights. Yeah, some really understand that. This one I put a purple dot on her right side. 
You know, she's still kind of sitting here at the edge, so I'm going to turn her just so she doesn't decide to go for it. Cute little babies. These guys are ready right now. So I will do their video and um, put them in here as far as the picking and uh, they're ready. They're completely eating and drinking on their own. Thanks for watching.